A major project broke ground in Suffolk. Governor Glenn Youngkin was there for the ceremony for the Port 460 Logistics Center. The new facility will serve U.S. and international businesses looking to be close to the Port of Virginia. Ted on your side's Chris Horn was there. Governor Youngkin says the Port 460 project will have impact that will radiate far beyond this 500 acre plot. This is just the tip of the spear and the primary reason is one, uh, it's the best place to live. I mean, just recently I saw Virginia Beach was ranked the best place to live on the East Coast. Uh, so we have fabulous workforce here. We've got great schools and universities. And on top of that, we've got businesses coming and investing. With investment topping $650 million and the promise of thousands of jobs, the key players know there's pressure to deliver. The head of the Port of Virginia says, bring it on. So our team and I look forward to bringing the best logistics companies to Virginia, to bringing the best international shipping companies to Virginia, and to give you the opportunities to secure them uh, for Port 460. The development is a partnership between the Rockefeller Group and Matten Companies. They say they're working on prospective tenants, but so far, none has committed to the first two buildings. Speculative warehouse buildings, meaning without a tenant, mm -hmm. uh, one about 340,000 and one about 260,000 square feet, mm -hmm. along with some retail on the frontage. Mark Matten said he was impressed with the Port of Virginia and the commitment from Richmond to make Port 460 leverage the power of the port. You cannot fake infrastructure and capital spending and you are reaping the benefits of it, so thank you. And the developers hope to have construction completed on those spec buildings by the end of next year or the beginning of 2026. That'll be the first evidence of what's happening here at Port 460. In Suffolk, Chris Horn, 10 in your side.